Vikings quarterback makes his debut Monday night against the Giants. He's Josh Freeman. Josh, how's the playbook? Hey. How you doing? What's going on? Uh, how, how difficult is it to absorb a new playbook? You know, um, it's, it's always a process because you're, you're so entrenched in, in your current offense and uh, this turnaround uh, was definitely, definitely faster than I've, I've had uh, as far as studying and learning an offense. But uh, one of the, the awesome things was getting up here and seeing that uh, Coach Musgrave really had a, a definitive plan. And um, I was fortunate to, to have had um, just a disciple of his offense as my head coach in college and Ron Prince, who's with him at Virginia. So hmm. I've, um, I've had uh, you know, quite a bit of work in this offense. I've ran different concepts like these in, um, in Tampa or in my early part of, career, or early part of my career. And um, – you know, it's it's been it's been a great great deal because it's just been twenty four seven. You know, the past two weeks just football, and um, no, it's uh, and at the end of the day, that's that's what it is. It's football. Uh, you know, understanding the defense, understanding where the, where we got to get the ball. Uh, you know, how we're going to get it in our playmakers' hands, and then it's a lot of terminology. But it's been um, you know, it's been fun. How do we get to this point? How do we get here? Do you ever say to yourself, what happened? Um. Um, and I, I know exactly what happened. You know, um, obviously it wasn't a uh, place it was coming from. It was a place where, uh, you know, they didn't see me as uh, the guy. They didn't see me as a guy that uh, could get it done. And, uh, you know, I strongly disagree with, with that. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's not really not really my decision to make. So, uh, you know, I've, it's just been an awesome deal. Uh, being blessed, having an opportunity to come play for, for an organization like, like Minnesota. But where Minnesota. did it go, though? The guy who had 25 touchdowns and six interceptions, and you think there's their franchise quarterback. Something happened, whether it was you or your coach or where it just took a left turn here. That's what, I, I, that's what I'm confused about here. Well, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. And you, hear, you hear a bunch of speculation and, and uh, I mean, whispers and people saying different things, but you know, I think it, I think uh, bottom line is, I mean, it's it was a situation where uh, you know the the coach wanted to go, he wanted a, a guy of his own, wanted to bring in his guy, and uh, you know it, it happens it happens all the time in this league, and I mean it couldn't get it done the first year, obviously, but then uh, this year they drafted a guy in the third round, and uh, you know it just. Uh, you know, it was just kind of, kind of the way he wanted to handle things. Once they drafted Glennon, did you think anything about that? You know, they had designs on you know eventually going to him. No, no, I didn't. Uh, I got a call from coach after they drafted Glennon, saying that uh, he's a develop. He's this guy. He's a guy we wanted to just um, you know bring in to add depth to the position. And um, and I, I mean, I Mike Mike Glennon is an awesome dude, man. I've uh, spent a lot of time. You know, he's a guy that works his butt off. Tremendously talented. Uh, great guy, you know. Wish him nothing but the best. Um, and it's it's uh, you know it's it's part of the game. You know it's it's how the game works. And you just gotta you gotta understand it. And uh, you know next time, regardless of the situation, you know figure out a way to um, take your game to a level where there's no way no way that they can even think about not having you behind center. I just, then the thing that bothered me about it, Josh, and then we'll move on from it, but it, it, it became personal and then stuff off the field. And then that's where I went, okay, now we're going, now it feels like it's a smear campaign. And, and that's where I thought, you know, if you lost your job on the field, it's one thing. It, it feels like it, there was just more, more to it than that. And that's what, that's what concerned me. Uh, it's, and I, I mean, you're definitely not alone. You know, I had a lot of people saying different things. And yeah, I mean, you're right. It did, did kind of seem personal at a, um, from from a number of different angles, but uh, uh, I mean, it's 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 tough, man. It's it's a uh, it's a tough tough situation down there, and you know, it's I you know I can't can't fault anybody. You know, it's just it was, the only frustrating thing was uh, having to just basically talk to people that I've known my whole life and that I love calling me and question me about things that that they've heard or that they're worried about and that, that was probably the, the toughest part you know because I'm 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 kind of an internal guy like I look at look at um, the guys in the building you know the people who are my close friends uh, teammates 
coaches. Like those are those are the guys that I mean, if I were worried about anybody's opinion, those would be the guys. So uh, that was just a frustrating thing, getting calls from old coaches, guys that I spent a lot of time with, and they asked me if I'm all right and hmm. if I got like a, like problems and things going on, and I'm like, well, sure, I got problems. We're rowing, <laughs> we're rowing three, but you know, like we're. No, man. It's but it, it, that's the only frustrating part. But you know, I don't. I, I'm moving. It's it's all about moving forward. And you know, I don't. I, I'm really grateful to the Buccaneers for having the for having the opportunity to play. You know, the Glazer family for giving me the opportunity. Uh, Coach Morris for drafting me. Coach Olson. Uh, even the, the staff we had the past couple years, man. They were all great guys. But um, you know, it's it's. I'm I'm very glad to to be here. You know, there's there's so many memories and. Uh, Tampa I had a, had a great time, learned a lot, uh, made some great friends in Tampa, the guys on the team, and I'll be lifelong friends with a bunch of those guys. But, um, you know, just as far as my career progressing, I can't think of a better place, better situation for me to be in than right here in Minnesota. I know you got to go to a meeting, but I'll, I'll end with this. Your role as a quarterback on the Vikings, uh, similar or different than what you were asked to do in Tampa? Um, it's, it's, it's similar. You know, it's, uh, well, you got Adrian Peterson, though. That's why I didn't know if, you, you know, it's a run first team and then pass. You know, it's, um, it's, this, this offense is, it's, a, it's, you know, I was, I was impressed, you know, the levels in which, um, they break things down and, uh, you know, but yeah, you're, you're definitely right. You know, we've got, um, we have a very, very, very special talent, as everybody all knows, you know, just an Adrian and, uh, you know, this, uh, the dynamic, the dynamic that he sets up, uh, as far as coverage is front, uh, you know, he's an unbelievable player, and uh, you know, I'm I'm here to, you know, compliment him. You know, it's it's like you said. I mean, he's he's a guy that we're really hanging our hat on. He's going to go get it done every week in and week out, and, and then it's my job to uh, to make the plays in the passing game. So, you know, I'm 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 really fired up. You know, I'm you know the guys are. Uh, the guys have been working really hard this week, and I'm really pumped up about getting getting the game in this Monday. Well, have fun on Monday night, and hopefully you get that joy back and uh, you know a little less drama and uh, more opportunity. But uh, thanks for joining us, Josh. Hey, thank you. All right. Uh, Josh Freeman, the Vikings' uh, new quarterback. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.